where did you go from from Deakin to Collingwood? Was it Deakin straight to Collingwood, or was there another team involved? Yeah, it was. It was. Um, yeah. So the, De- the Deakin Devils became the Eastern Devils, and and we sort of played along um, at at local footy for a number of years, and then. Yeah, as I mentioned before, Debbie Lee sort of started driving this exhibition series that started. So, um, you know, Melbourne and the Western Bulldogs got on board and there was an exhibition series that started in 2013. Um, yep. So it was a couple of games a year uh, where that, that happened. Um, we got to play on, on yeah, some amazing ground and represent actual AFL teams in Melbourne and the Bulldogs, which was, which was incredible. Um, and then we played our first broadcast game, which was which was fantastic for the um, yeah it was an exhibition, but exhibition of women's football, and actually put that in front of the eyes of people. You're now running a a business yourself with Body Fit um, while playing, and and um, you know I imagine you'd learn to delegate a lot of leadership qualities. Um, take us through what what was the biggest challenge of, of that role, and and what did you enjoy about it as well. Yeah, it um it it's probably taught me that it's okay to ask for help. That's probably the main thing. Um, I kind of felt at the time, um, I was sort of responsible for doing everything, and and I kind of felt that at the time. I felt that if I was to ask for help, it should it was a um, it showed that I was not capable of doing my job, which is totally not the the, the way that it goes. Um, so that was a massive learning for me is that actually, you know, if you don't know something, if you need assistance with something in particular, it's not sort of in your area of strength, then actually go to someone that actually is is uh, very good at that as well. So that was a huge learning for me um, is that, yeah, ask for help if you need help and, and learn by that process and learn off that person. Who were some strong influences and mentors, if you like, at that point or getting to you to that point, I guess? Um, yeah, there's probably a, a, a number of a number of people, um, but more so. I mean, one person in particular who influenced the way that I sort of went about my football was, um, you know, one of my really really good friends now. Um, she was my captain at the Eastern Devils, Lou Watton. So, yeah, she probably more so was an influence from a uh, a standards point of view. She really set standards for us at the club and and showed a lot of us what work rate and work ethic was all about so it was fantastic to be, to be led by her and to be surrounded by um her and have her as a as a friend to um to, to watch and learn off um yeah so there, i mean there's a number of people uh, who who had influenced what i um, you know uh, to that point you know a lot of coaches i had through the exhibition series michelle cow and um craig Starsevich and you know just to name a few what are some common, doesn't have to be just physical attributes and, and skill attributes, but even the mental side as well that you've noticed and, and taken into your game? I, I think the, the real big thing, particularly for female footballs, is that ability and, and confidence to, to get a, um, a contested ball, whether or not it's in a, in a marking situation or in a ground ball situation. That's probably the, the biggest thing for me is that that's, that stands out um, from, a, from a performance point of view. You've got to be able to... Yeah, you, you you got a 50-50 ball, you have to make it into a 60-40 or a 70-30 or 100% your way. Um, so that's, that's probably the thing that, that stands out to me in terms of the, 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 the better players, I guess, and the ones that um, set the standards are the ones that actually see a situation um, that could be 50-50 and they make it into um, something more in their favour. So, um, yeah, the contested marking situations and the contested ball on the ground, they're a mm. real, real big one. Take us through what you're uh, excited about for 2021. What's um, what's top of mind for you this year? Yeah, 2021. Um, look, I'm excited by the. Like, oh, my dog just jumped over the uh, <laughs> the cord to my my phone. Um, I'm excited by seeing you know what women's football is going to look like over the next you know year or two, particularly. But uh, for me, you know, I I've, I've, I've decided to um, Call time on my career, so I'm, I'm retiring yeah, at the end of this season. So, um, really looking forward to, to. It's a bit scary in terms of what's next, but looking forward to sort of you know finishing off with a bang and enjoying every moment that I can to play um, with the team that I'm playing with, um, the Mighty Hawks and the girls I'm playing with. So, yeah, looking forward to that. But then looking forward to um, yeah having a bit of time where I can you know, enjoy some weekends and go surfing and yeah spend a bit more time here with the business. So. 
looking forward to being a spectator as well at some football. That'd be nice.